When it comes to 3D printing, finding the right balance between ease of use, performance, and features can be tricky. Enter FlashForge with their Adventure 5 and Pro model, which comes with auto leveling, quick release nozzle, a max speed of 600 millimeters per second, and as you can see, an enclosure that allows for dual air circulation and filtration. So can this 3D printer tick all the boxes? Who is it for? Is it actually any good? Techman Pat here, and in this video, we're taking a look at the features and performance of the Adventure 5M Pro to see if it is worth your hard-earned cash. Big thanks to FlashForge for sending the 3D printer for review. Links below where you could learn a little bit more. And of course, make sure to like and subscribe to support this channel. Let's get started with the basics by rolling the intro. The 5M Pro is a modern device offering Wi-Fi connectivity, Ethernet, USB, cloud printing support, and it includes a built-in camera for monitoring, filament run-out reminders, automatic shutdown, and power loss recovery. It's really perfect for home, workshop, or a classroom, even a business. It offers a respectable build volume of 220 by 220 by 220 millimeters. It's perfect for the small to medium sized projects. It's equipped with a removable flexible build plate for easy model removal and one that manages to have a perfect first layer every time without any third party additives. It's made of steel and it's nice and strong, which means it'll last a long time. The hot end is swappable and quick heating with temperatures of up to 280 degrees Celsius. That means it handles PLA, ABS, PTG and more with ease. Now the swappable hot end is a standout feature because it offers significant versatility with both six millimeter and four millimeter options to suit different printing needs. The six millimeter hot end is designed for high flow printing, excelling in speed and efficiency for larger projects or thicker layers. Additionally, it's well suited for abrasive filaments like carbon fiber reinforced PLA and operates across a broader temperature range handling advanced materials with ease. On the other hand, the four millimeter hot end focuses on precision and detail, perfect for intricate designs or smaller parts. It offers higher resolutions, improved control for complex geometries, and a lightweight approach for aesthetics or delicate prints, making it a go-to for highly detailed projects such as figurines. Now, the swappable hot end also simplifies maintenance because of how easy it is to swap out, especially when you have a clogged or worn out hot end. Taking a step back, as you can see, this is a fully enclosed 3D printer. It also is one where the plate only moves in the Y axis, while the print head moves X and Z. This is a different approach than many others where the plate swings around. I noted it helps a little bit with high tower like constructions, especially when it's really small. Furthermore, the case has its own internal circulation and external circulations with a HEPA filter and activated carbon. This bodes well for classrooms and workshops where there are safety regulations. But of course, also at home, if you have this in your room, it's good to know the fumes from heating all sorts of plastics isn't just going straight into your lungs. So let's talk setup and usability. The Flash Forge Adventure 5M Pro setup process is designed with convenience in mind, making it approachable for beginners and efficient for experienced folks. Straight out of the box, this is what you get. The printer comes largely pre-assembled, saving you a lot of hassle, especially if you make mistakes while building it, it'll affect your print. So this is ready to go. All you need to do is attach the spool holder in the back, load the filament and remove the screws holding down the plate that is used for transporting. Then perform an initial calibration and within 15 minutes, you're good to go. Luckily, FlashForge is popular enough online that you'll find plenty of video tutorials and content to solve anything you come upon. Now, the auto bed leveling system significantly simplifies setup and ongoing maintenance for both beginners and experts. Once initiated, the printer probes the bed at multiple points, ensuring it is a perfect level for optimal first layer adhesion. This is especially helpful for those who are new to 3D printing or find manual leveling tedious. Even better, it reduces the risk of print failure caused by an uneven print bed and over the last few weeks I have yet to have a bad first print. Now the touchscreen interface makes navigation of the printer's features absolutely quick and easy. The menu is well organized, providing quick access to key functions like preheating, filament loading, and starting prints. The display is responsive and has clear instructions, meaning you'll spend less time figuring out the controls and more time starting prints. 
Now, loading filament is another area where the Adventure 5M Pro shines. The filament path is well designed, however, it feels a bit loose and the two popped out once for me, only once. And while it didn't affect the print, it was a bit weird. The machine includes a built-in filament sensor that pauses prints if the filament runs out. While this sensor occasionally misfires, it is a helpful feature for reducing wasted material during long prints. And it only happened to me twice in the last few weeks. The included slicing software flash print is fairly beginner friendly and offers enough customization for intermediate users, which makes it usable. It includes pre-configured profiles for common materials like PLA, ABS, and PETG, so you can get started quickly. Now, advanced users might prefer third-party options like Cura or Prusa Slicer, both of which are compatible with this printer. And from my point of view, I would double down and recommend using another slicer. Flash print caused me too many issues and frustrations and really brought down the overall experience of this printer, especially when trying to connect to it through LAN. However, the performance of the hardware of the Adventure 5M Pro is where it truly earns its reputation as a reliable and versatile 3D printer. From print quality to speed and material handling, it delivers consistent and impressive results across various print types. The 5M Pro excels in producing high quality prints with minimal layer lines, even on faster settings. Using the four millimeter hot end, I achieved exceptional details on models with intricate geometries and sharp edges. Fine details like text, thin walls and overhangs came out clean and well defined. The 6mm hot end, while optimized for speed, still maintains good quality for large, less intricate projects. And the print shows consistent layer adhesions, which is great. It has smooth surfaces and minimal stringing or blobs. So what's the verdict? Well, here's what I love. Easy setup and operation, enclosed build chamber, it's a game changer for ABS, Air connectivity options, Wi-Fi, Ethernet, USB, and cloud printing. The removable flexible build plate is absolutely fantastic. The multi-material compatibility is spot on and works well across so many variable materials. But on the flip side, it's not perfect. So here's what I didn't like. The software could use a few more advanced features and just be more stable. Connecting it to the software has been a problem. The build volume looks decent to the eye, but in reality, 220 by 220 by 220 isn't that big. The filament sensor could use a bit of fine tuning and noise levels. It is still quite loud, though it is not as loud as other 3D printers. So there is a bonus. Price-wise, it has been quite hard to pin down because there are two versions of this printer. One with an enclosure, this one, and one without. So that puts a price range from 599 Australian dollars to 899 Australian dollars. At 899, this printer build volume makes it a hard choice because I believe it is geared more towards classrooms and workshops and businesses than home. But overall, the Flash Forward Adventure 5M Pro is a solid choice for anyone looking to get into 3D printing or upgrade from more basic models. It's easy to use, versatile, and delivers great results across a variety of projects. But if you're a pro looking for something with massive build volumes or super advanced features, you might have to look elsewhere or shop the higher range from Flash Forge. So is this the perfect 3D printer? Probably not for everyone, but for most people it is. At this price, it comes pretty darn close. And if you're looking for a machine that's reliable, flexible, and just plain fun to use, and actually looks really nice in your room, then the Adventure 5M Pro is definitely worth considering. And that's all I have for you folks. Thanks for watching. Links below where you can find more about the 5M Pro. Let me know in the comments which printer you use your favorite and make sure to say why. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon for more tech reviews such as this one. Bye!